Okay, you'll notice here on my Model 1, I've added a switch above the um, numeric keypad. Uh, this allows me to have an EEPROM with two versions of the Level 2 Basic. On this side, set to Norm, it's got the standard Level 2 Basic. And on this side, uh, like that, it's got the FRED Auto Boot ROM. So I'll show you that in, uh, in action. So what we've got here, I'll just readjust this camera, is my Model 1 system. Yep. Comprises of FRED hard drive emulator, Model 1 hard disk adapter, standard expansion interface, monitor, dual disk drives, and the uh, modified um, EEPROM installed in the uh, TRS-80 Model 1. So in the normal setting, it starts with, we'll start it with Tristos 2.3, just the normal way, and it starts up the same way as you would always expect. And now I'm going to demonstrate it auto booting from the FRED. So we'll switch the machine off, change it over to the FRED auto boot ROM. You'll see some activity over here once it starts up. And there's our auto boot ROM. Choose our operating system. I'll choose LDOS. And there you have it. We've got three images on this disk here. LDOS. NewDOS 80. and another copy of LDOS on there. So, didn't require the disk drives. In fact, if you've got a Model 1 with an expansion interface, but no disk drives or your disk drives are, are worn out and you don't want to replace them, then putting a, uh, a auto boot EEPROM and a FRED emulator on means you never need your disk drives again. Um, so that can be a real uh, handy benefit of the auto boot system. So, um, I'm just going to do a cut to the video here and I'll show you the modifications made to the circuit board for um, for the FRED auto boot ROM. Okay, so those of you familiar with the inside of the TRS-80 Model 1 circuit board know that on level 2 machines most of them have this thing installed. It's got the level 2 ROMs on it. Um, a, uh, a cable connector which joins up here at Z33 and some address lines which um, address the ROMs. So what the FRED um, upgrade does is we lose this guy altogether, unsolder it and discard it and then replace that with single EEPROM 27256 which has both standard level 2 and FRED auto boot level 2 in there. Um, there are well five solder connections on the circuit board for ground in black, power 5 volts in orange um, and A11, A12 and a13 or address line 11 address line 12 and address line 13 in gray white and um, yellow we put a toggle switch which is not fitted to this one but it goes on the a14 line and connects um, five volts and grounds to a toggle switch allowing you to select either um, standard boot 
or auto thread boot. So um, this uh, simplifies the uh, the troublesome at times um, level two ROM set. The cable on the level two ROM set is getting on in years and becoming unreliable. So that's the modification done there. If anyone's interested, I'm happy to talk about it. They can email me. Thanks for watching.